carpet. How are you? <laughs> what are you? How are you enjoying the Premier? Big chilly, I must say, but I'm glad you're here. How are you doing? You okay? I'm very good. How you are you? I'm, I'm good. You enjoyed that walk so far? Do you know what? We're nearly there. We're nearly in, in the cinema watching the movie, so yeah, excited. How do you find this reaction wherever you go around the world, that the fans are intense? Every place we've been to has been slightly different. New York was very subdued. Tokyo was crazy. Wellington was long. London, there's just something about bringing this home. This is where I trained as an actor. Um, this is where I spent most of my career, so it's really special to me. I thought that I was going to be very emotional, and I am. <laughs> a bit crying now would be great. Later, okay, after a few drinks. Later. What does it mean, the fact that it's a royal premiere this evening? It's so special. They, they, they don't turn out for any old film, so uh, I think it's a real honour. And I'm quite nervous about meeting him. I don't know what to say. I hope I don't do a Mr Bean and headbutt him. <laughs> but you shave for the occasion at least. I know. I thought that's, that's pretty special. <laughs> I need to light a match later so I can have a cigarette. <laughs> See you. Nice to see you. Enjoy. All right. Take care. I've got to ask you because I, I feel you've got kind of like an inside scoop here. Why don't we ever see any female dwarves in these movies? You, you absolutely are. You do see female dwarves, oh. and within the first the first thirty seconds of the film, the film, you're going to see female dwarves, really? and they too have beards. Oh, so, so they look the I same think, as men. I think, yeah, that's going to be the new look for, for, for the, um, the, the spring season. There's going to be <laughs> female beards. I love it. So great talking to you. Best of luck and congratulations. Thank you so much. Um, the trailer actually features some singing from yeah. all the dwarves. Uh, now, you're not going to ask me to sing, are you? Uh, not, no, not you're not going to ask me. Next year, though, your voice is going <laughs> to be right. famous. We'll do the pop version. Uh, is there be a lot of singing is it going to be kind of like a little bit more musical than you know the lord of Rings? yeah yeah and there are other songs in it which i which i was kind of hoping for but i thought well, are they going to shy away from that because mm -hmm. um but i think the dwar the culture of the dwarves you know the dwarves are kind of raucous naughty dirty filthy <laughs> beasts and and you know when they party they party hard so there is a there's a there's a few drinking songs uh, mm -hmm. in there yeah well it makes a good drunk uh, a smelly dwarf. He's a good drunk, and boy, do we smell. <laughs> the but it was a three hour process every morning because each prosthetic, you put it on, you take it off, and you chuck it in the bin. Uh, so it goes on and off every day. Um, but I actually found it as, um, like it was part of my process of getting into character, is watching the characters sort of forming in front of you. Um, but it was a bit of an endurance test, um, and if you drink too much alcohol the night before, it's, the face actually starts to fall off about midday because it comes off with alcohol, so I had to really work hard to, to restrict my alcohol intake. That's a nice look. Yeah, <laughs> as it starts to slide. <laughs> what a show today! The countdown to The Hobbit, an unexpected journey, is on. It hits theaters on December 14th, and today we get a chance to talk with one of the film stars. Please welcome, it's our honor to say hello to Richard Armitage. <laughs> How do you think Thor would, would fare in our world today? I think he'd probably be a bit of a hellraiser, I I think he would be, yeah, he'd be arrested. In no time flat. In no time flat, yeah. He would. He just doesn't step on fools and he'd bar brawl. He'd something. drag that sword out and be sort of flashing it around and he'd, he'd be, uh, yeah, wrestled to the ground. Well, they'd attempt to, so. I was a big fan. I read it when I was 11 and then I was in a stage production uh, when I was about 13 and I played an elf um, and I was dressed in in sort of wool that would that had been sprayed to look like chain mail and uh, Gollum was paper and the dragon was like a, a red light with smoke because they didn't have enough money so uh, <laughs> coming back to it uh, a few years later it was pretty much identical to that I think so yeah. I think so but except now instead of being an elf you have a guy that's got the longest grudge ever with an elf and the longest hair ever. Yes. Yeah. Um, and actually for Thorin as well, it's, a, it's very much a journey where he has a thread of corruption in him that he knows about greed. Yeah. I mean, could there be anything more relevant at the moment of the corruption of greed? And he knows it exists in him and he's, you know, he, his grandparents suffered this terrible dragon sickness. So. God, it's sounding really serious, isn't it? It's actually, it's actually a really fun movie. It's yes. about dwarves <laughs> drinking and telling... There's a lot of bare feet flopping around and throwing yeah. food at each other. It's, it's definitely a food fight. 
let's play. Luckily, we had this dwarf boot camp, which really was a boot camp because they brought these massive boots in on the first day and we all had to wear them. You were trained how to move. We started from the feet down and we worked upwards and Terry Notary, who is the most incredible movement director, he brought in this, this weight belt with a weight on it and he said, OK, so dwarves have gonads that are made of stone and that's the, that's where you start so <laughs> start your dwarf in that place and work upwards i mean i so, i can't really yeah. imagine that so we, but we have... what was it like working with this huge cast of all the other dwarves and the hobbit and gandalf did you mess up their names too you know what it did i, I always got philly and killy the wrong way around but i did work out a way of um of figuring it out uh Killy means cute. Mm -hmm. Philly, I, I can't tell you what that one means, <laughs> but you can imagine. Uh... Talk about music there. I wanted to ask you because it would be really nice if we could play something. I was just thinking what, what you would do at the end of your day when you go into the trailer. What goes on first? Beatles, Stones? I don't know. What, what... Um, I, the, the top of the wine bottle came off first on most days. And the music of Pinot Noir dribbling into a, a crystal glass was mainly what I listened to at the end of the working day. Good answer. Some would say that's the best sound of, uh, in <laughs> the world. It is definitely the best sound. A delight to meet you. Thank you so much, Richard. The voice is the realisation that we have something in common. He's obsessed by the ring, and I'm obsessed by the size of the actors, weapons and trailers. JK. The foe hammer. Sword? I know. Did you have any jealousy true, I do at all? have the biggest sword in all of the dwarves. I'm sorry, we can cut that out. Um, no, Tolkien's sword is legendary. He names his weapons. I name my weapon too. No. Um, you, why do you do this to I'm me? Sorry. Don't do this to me. Uh, it's because you're a brummy, that's why. Actually, because the joy of having home entertainment releases and Blu rays is the fact that there's loads of stuff that we didn't get to see, behind the scenes stuff, bloopers, blah, 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 that you can shove on there as extras. Yeah. Are there bloopers? Oh, well, it's that, it's that kind of thing, but is there something that you think that happened on set that we will never see on a blooper, but you do have to tell me about? Um, oh my goodness. Possibly, possibly me vomiting into a bucket after the, um, after the escape from the Goblin Tunnels, because we were so hot and tired, and <clears throat> I remember coming around the corner and taking a massive gulp of water and then throwing it up. Hopefully that's not on the DVD. Okay, that's a beautiful image. Um, I saw. I remember one of my great childhood memories. Fellowship of the Ring came out when I was in eighth grade, and from right. then on, uh, uh, freshman year and sophomore. Year, I didn't mean it like that. How old did that make me? Yeah, I was in eighth grade too. Okay, exactly, yeah. exactly. And my my folks yeah. took me out of took me out, I got to skip school that yeah. day. They took me out of school so I can go see each one of those movies on the me first too, day. Me yeah. too. Right. Yeah. What was your great childhood cinematic memory growing up? Um. I, I think it was the spy who loved me. Um, oh, that really does. I was like, you're not old enough. To no, see. yeah, no. I think it was like I was seven years old, and I wanted to go see Bambi, but it was sold out. So w we had to go and see the spy who loved me, and I, I absolutely loved it, and never looked back. I was a good call. It was a good call. Good call on that one. Yeah, my friend. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Is, it's, it's taken a, another direction. This is a, a, a fan video that was made for you that I'm curious about your response to this. Individual moments, right? I just put your mic back on here. Oh, sorry. No, it's okay. <laughs> yes. Look, when you don't talk about the speedos. No. <laughs> at some point, are you at that stage of your career where you can look at wardrobe and go, eh, I'm not wearing that. Um. It's a bit more fat suit than a fat suit. Yeah. Needs to have a bit more in a fat yeah. suit. And um. Oh, but Richard's front but it's completely finished. It's close to the wall. Richard, Richard, yeah, I've got a copy of The Hobbit, which we're all going to sign in a minute, yeah. and auction for quite a bit. So, if you put 13 dwarves in one space, do you think that that's about the worst smell you could possibly yeah, get? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and we were always in one space. So nasty! It's, it's revolting, but yeah, that's, that's a dwarf for you. 
they'd have a tent which was air conditioned and they'd zip you into it and I'm convinced it was nothing to do with keeping us cool it was just to do with keeping that stench inside a, a hermetically sealed room Cinema magic Totally, and it should be in smell Scratch edition Scratch and sniff <laughs> yeah, Absolutely <laughs> Next one The next one, it probably will be Fantastic Nope yeah, I had a dream last night that I got lost outside the cinema and couldn't find my way in, so I hope that doesn't happen. But yeah, I mean, my character is the heir apparent to, a, to, to the throne of Erebor, so we, I might have a bit of inspiration from William. And it's in freezing cold London as well, isn't Do you it? know what? It's actually not that bad. I thought it was going to be icy, but there's so many people here and there's so much kind of love in the room. <laughs> that sounds awful, doesn't it? Um, no, it's great. I'm, I'm great. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thanks. No, I think you're right. I think beards are going to rock this season. And I think furry boots with massive steel toe caps are going to be all the rage. Oh, that's that's Let it all go. <laughs> <laughs> no more waxy. Absolutely. But how, how far does it go? Are you, are, you, are you not allowed to talk to elves off camera? Uh, we can talk to elves off camera. It's just we don't like doing that because elves are, you know, strange beings who float around in, in silvery gowns and dwarves like to drink and throw food around. So we're, <laughs> we're, we're poles apart, really. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't think dwarves were very comfortable in, in Bag End at all. It was, uh, it was too small and too hot. And uh, food was good. I'd definitely, I'd definitely book in again for the food, but uh, I didn't really want to stay that long. And the host was a bit of a whinger, and he fainted as well, so it wasn't a good start. Would you mind signing for Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do this. Good, how are you? Good. Can I just borrow yeah, your phone? Yeah, that's not bad. There you go. Hi, Richard. Thanks. Which case? How was your Richard. Get this other poster, Richard. It's really long. Thanks. Are you forgetting the gentleman down? Richard down here. 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 Richard down here.